Hey guys, and welcome to my Draw My Life video. This is Disney style. Basically, it's how I got to where I am and basically a little bit about my Disney obsession. Not in depth, but that's gay. So let's start from the beginning, ignore my horrible handwriting by the way, and drawing. So once upon a time, there was a guy named Tony, my dad, and he had some friends who were friends with my mom and introduced him to my mom. There she is, Michelle. And they eventually fell in love. I'm not exactly sure how long they were dating, but one night they decided that they loved each other so much that, um, well, I'm the product of that night. <laughs> That's all I'm about to say about that. Um, so yeah, I was born out of wedlock despite their Christian beliefs, but that's totally okay. Um, so yeah, my mom was pregnant with me and lived in her own house. I don't know why the roof is covering her face, but then my dad lived in his house and they both lived kind of far away from each other, which just wasn't working out. So they decided they were gonna move in together, um, but not yet. I was born first. Um, yeah, I came a little too soon for that, but I was born, but my dad couldn't come because he had shingles and they wouldn't let him in the hospital, which is kind of horrible. <laughs> um, pretty horrible my dad and I did everything together as a child um, we still do but we have a really good inseparable inseparable bond but back tracking a little bit to before I learned about bonds and knew what the heck I was doing in life um, my mom was changing my diaper one time in the house that they were buying together um, and my dad decided to propose and they got married a, around the time of my first birthday and I think it was in 2002 probably I don't know um, I'm not good with dates. So then 2003, my sister was conceived and born. I really didn't need to use the word conceived there, but I'm really, really bad at these. I'm really awkward when it comes to this kind of stuff, but okay. So my sister was born and here's me trying to draw she and I. Um, we're close. We fight a lot, like more than normal siblings do, but we're close. And basically life stuff just happened until, you know, a really horrible part in our life. My dad's mom, my grandma, had gotten sick from breast cancer, I think for the second or the third time. And unfortunately, uh, breast cancer took her from us. It was a very, very hard time. We miss her every day. And that was kind of the start of just life things happening, things that stunk. Anyways, so there's my dad, my sister, and I. Um, it was usually just the three of us that did things together. My mom was never really a part of a lot of things. She did some things with us, but a lot of the things that we used to do, like going to the fair and the park and stuff, was mainly just the three of us. My mom just seemed to not want to do anything with us like that. I don't really know why. Still don't. Then my parents got a divorce. Should have seen it coming, but I didn't. It was a super rough time for me, especially since I had known that they had gotten married because of me. It made me blame myself for a really long time. Don't worry, I don't anymore. But it was just really a hard and depressing time. I just couldn't believe that it happened. Was it me? Like, did I do it? That's what I really thought at the time. They had gotten married out of wedlock because they had had me, which I guess was really good because I grew up with both of my parents. So, honestly, they were just doing what they thought was best. And there's just me dramatically writing out me because I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm really stuck at these. But anyways, as the years went on, I got bullied, um, which really, really was not good on top of everything. I was threatened. Um, I was yelled at and made fun of for my beliefs, a bunch of other things, too, that I'm not really going to get into too much detail with. I really don't want to have to relive the past, you know? I'm not that kind of person. But yeah, I'm a Christian, so I got like bullied about that stuff. So the bullying plus the divorce caused me to develop anxiety and depression, things that I still kind of deal with today, but not really as much as I used to. Like, they're just kind of parts of my life, and I don't really... I try to be ha a happy person. So, they're kind of better now, so don't worry. But, um, yeah, so sometime later... A couple years later, it was time to go to Walt Disney World for the second time, which you'll see me right out here. And um, I'm gonna backtrack in a second. I remember that I drew, I back backtracked. I stink at these, I'm sorry guys. But um, we were gonna go to Walt Disney World. I was very excited. We were going for four days instead of one like we did last time. I was very, very excited, very, very happy. The happiest I'd been in a while. 
Um, and there's me trying to draw a nail, but I s remember this, backtrack a little bit, I wanted to be a cosmetologist at the time, and I still do, we'll talk about that later. I wanted to paint nails, cut hair, and do makeup. Good thing I didn't want to be an artist. <laughs> um, I wanted to do all those kinds of things for a living um, up to this point, so we'll talk a little bit more about that later. And so we went to Disney, and it was seriously the best vacation of my life. We went the 5th, 6th, um, 8th, and 9th of July, 2016. It was so much fun. I seriously had a blast, and I got the wonderful idea that I wanted to be a cast member. Great idea, right? But what about cosmetology? What about all my cosmetology dreams I had been pursuing so deeply for the past two or three years I still wanted that I still wanted all that cosmetology stuff so I turned to Google because I wasn't sure what to do I then found the Disney College program which would then give me the option to try out different roles and really learn about the Disney community then I learned about the Disney Dreamers Academy which I'll make a video on at some point but that will help me to learn about the roles as well and then I learned about cosmetology roles which is perfect for me so I had all my bases covered, and one year later, I decided what I wanted to be. My career choice. Bibbidi, I write slow, Bobbidi Boutique. I want to work in the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique in a Walt Disney World. Cosmetology, guest interaction, Disney World job, best of all the worlds, best of both worlds, I don't know. Pretty amazing stuff. Um, been considering merchandise as well. Um, I recently started my Disney Instagram at Aubrey of Arendelle and this YouTube channel, which really helped me to grow in my Disney community and meet a lot of Disney friends. And it, no, it has not helped my social skills as you can, or my video skills as you can see by just my stuttering and not knowing what the heck to say in this video. Um, yeah, so I met a lot of amazing friends, like some of the names I'm writing here. Not limited to these people, I have so many friends. Um, these were just the ones that just popped up in my head and then I, wa I wanted to keep writing, but I just decided not to, but so many people. So many different people with the same name too, like I know a couple cats, I know a couple uh, Madisons and stuff like that, but, and so many more people um, as well, as you can see what I'm writing, I already, I'm, I'm speaking too fast, like before I write, I even wrote stuff. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to explain at the end of this and gather my thoughts, but I have an ear shop as well. Um, three cheers ears shop dot store envy dot com. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Pretty fun stuff. Almost lost my shop the other day because my PayPal got locked. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. In a couple of seconds, my face is going to pop up and I'm going to explain to you guys everything that I just said. So yeah. <laughs> hey guys. So that was my draw my life. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm super awkward when it comes to these kinds of things, so it's not the best in the world, but you get what you get. Um, there's a lot of things that happened in my life that I didn't really talk about that had led me to be so passionate and happy about my Disney um, experience. Um, I didn't exactly give myself enough time to talk about the Disney College Program or the Disney Dreamers Academy, um, which I will talk about. I am making a video about the Disney Dreamers Academy, so... I will go more in depth about that. Disney College program, if you haven't heard of it, is basically a program that college students can do and go down to Disney for anywhere between, I think, three or four, like seven or eight months and work for Disney and just get an amazing experience. It looks amazing and I really want to take that opportunity to um, learn about other roles and kind of get to experience other roles without having to completely dedicate myself to those roles. So like being a cast member, I can still get, you know, all the different, you know, parts of being a cast member like you know all just the different regular roles but still pursue cosmetology like I want to and the Disney Dreamers Academy is actually for high school students which I applied for and hoping to get accepted fingers crossed um it is basically an academy for 100 US um I think it's just the US I'm not sure but um US high school students I think I said high school like 300 times but um they pick 100 kids and you get to go down to Walt Disney World for four days and go behind the scenes and play in the parks and learn about um the roles that you want to pursue and stuff like that so and just encouraging you to dream so I really hope to get accepted to that um but yeah basically that was a very quick rough sketch of my life and um how I got to where I am. If you guys want more in depth, let me know.
comment down below any questions you might have for me. I will be, I want to do a Q&A soon. I don't know when I'll be able to do a Q&A. Like always, like I've said in my video, my last video, look horrible. I won't always look this bad, I promise. Every time I want to film, I'm like, alright, I'm going to film. I'm going to actually do my hair, and I'm going to sit down and film, and then I don't. I just sit down and film, and then I'm like, oh, oh, that's right. I have this mop. But, um, I'm going to try and have it fixed next time I film. We'll see. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.